Hi, welcome back to the networking class. Okay, let's learn about some of the networking tools which we use for connectivity. So let's network. So we have a tool called as ping, a common tool which is used in all the operating systems. So ping is an acronym of Packet Internet Grofer. Okay, so how do you, what is ping? So ping is a networking tool which is used to check connectivity between source and destination okay so we have our source and the destination but how do we check the connectivity of the network interface card so to check the network connectivity or the network interface card we have a test that is called as loop back test okay so let me just put put that here so in the ping so I'll say loop back test so what's loop back test loop back test is nothing but sending the packets to and fro to the network card which is there on our computer so just throwing the network card that is the packets to our network card and then receiving it back so how do you check the loopback test or what do you do the loopback test so there is one more point which you have to make a note here so there is a class of IP address that is called as class A okay which starts from 127 dot Z it's 127.0.0.0 IP address range. So it's completely reserved for loopback test. So that is testing the network adapter which is connected to our computer. So how do you do a loopback test? So what we'll do is we'll just go to start and the loopback test can be conducted on any of the hosts so it might be a Linux computer or the Linux the computer which has Linux operating system or a computer which has uh, the Microsoft XP 2000 2003 any operating system so it, it can be conducted so I'll just say ping space I'll do 127.0.0.0 hit enter I will say 127.1 that's enough so do you see here so we have a testing which is being done to the network card the NIC card which is there on our computer okay so it has sent four packets and it has received four packets and the loss is 0% so this confirms that our network card is working fine okay so you may ask me a question do you have any protocol which is in in uh, the translucent state while doing the ping yes I would say yes so we use a protocol called as ICMP that is control message protocol which does this test okay so we have 32 bits of packets or 32 bytes of packets which has been sent okay in the time frame of uh, one second okay or one millisecond which has been here which is represented here so it would not usually send 32 bytes what happens is it would have an header information so we will just minus 32 minus 8 to get the right figure okay so it does a local ho local ping on our network adapter by using one by using ping space 127.1 and it sends four times the packets in the time duration of one second okay that is one second and it uses a protocol called as ICMP that is the control message protocol which has been noted here and then it does the test okay so you can either do this like this or do the test like this or you can say ping space We'll say local host local is nothing but the computer which we are working on host as I already told you what is host host is the computer which we are using so 
I'll just say localhost. Do you see? It does a ping once again. And even once again, if you just check, it says packet sent is 4, received is 4, and last is 0. So this confirms that the network card which is there on our computer is working fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so how do you check the network connectivity between our source, that is our computer, and to some other destination? So we don't know what is the destination, so we'll just use uh, google.com. Okay, so we do not know the IP address of the google.com, but not a problem, we can use directly google.com. I would say ping space google dot com and make sure that I am connected to internet right now I have connected my router to the system so that it's using internet okay so that's why I'm able to ping Google so if you have not connected a router or if you do not have a uh, connection so you cannot ping google.com an internet connection okay so how do you check the connectivity if you do not have internet Definitely you can check connectivity by doing a local host ping that is your computer's connectivity. So if you want to check the destination computer's connectivity either you can just mention google.com or you can mention the destination's IP address. You should say ping space and then give a destination IP address. So let us see let us check out now how do we do it do a ping for Google. That's great. So we have pinged Google and we see that we have sent four packets and we have received four packets so google.com is fine so we are able to ping google.com okay now we have come to know the IP address of google.com by using the DNS so let's make a note of DNS also here so DNS is something called as domain naming system so this resolves the IP address and gives a name. It resolves the IP. It resolves the IP address to the name. Okay. So like for example, so the Google had an IP address of 74.125.45.100, and it resolved the Google.com was resolved to this particular IP address. So let's try pinging directly an external host with the help of IP address. How do you do it? So I'll just say ping. Type, click here type ping ping space and do we see the IP address here so we'll just type that to ping again Google with the help of IP address so that is 74.125.45.100 great so are we able to ping yes we are able to ping and that's great we got back the four received and four sent and we have lost is zero packets that's great so we were able to ping Google an external address by using internet by using a domain name called as google.com and we also did a ping by using the IP address of Google that is 74.125.45.100 so let us just confirm like does the address which is being given here is right or wrong so how do you do it so I'll just open I have opened my web browser I'll just close this let me just type in 74.125.45.100 is it Google yes it is do you do we see that so we are able to resolve this particular IP into Google's address okay so that confirms this is an address which has been used by Google okay so the way it converts the IP into the name google.com that particular service is called as DNS the domain name naming system okay that's great so that's good good enough so we have done a ping so let us just understand completely how exactly ping works so we'll open our uh, paint and we see we have computer A and computer B so how does ping work so let's draw it like this so we have source and destination 
So the packet, the 32 minus 8 packet which we send it. So let us take 32, 32 bytes of data which we send, which will it will travel from A to B to check the first connectivity then it will travel back from B to A so it is a round trip which is happening here so it travels A to B and comes back from B to A so we have a round trip connectivity check okay here so that confirms that the total round trip is working and we are able to receive the data so this is how the ping exactly works so let's put after loopback test so we used ping space 127.1 then we did a ping to google so i'll just say ping space google.com so we have used this tool then we also used the ip address of the google so do we have it here yes we have it so I just copy this and put it in my notes section. So I'll say ping space. We put this. So that completes uh, the connectivity which we have done with the networking tools. So we have used ping, the packet internet grower, and a loopback test and a ping basic connectivity test okay and we have used a protocol called as control messaging protocol we have used a protocol called as dns thank you for your viewing have a great day ahead